Hello, my name is Ashley Sharon, the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. Today we're going to explore book two, verse 44, the fund that I can tell. Book two, verse 44, reads as follows. Those deeply attached to pleasures and power are not able to fix their mind on one pointness in meditation and enjoy super consciousness. So basically a principal theme in yoga is about attachment. In um, yoga, we can think of it as attachment. In Christianity, we can think about it as having faith and sort of um, trusting God and letting go. In um, like a non-religious text, we can think about it as um, you know trusting yourself, trusting your own instincts, being self-reliant. But the idea is that um, things that you really, really want um, then have a power over you, right? So we can look at that as being addicted to smoking. We can think about that as like, if you really, really want that cookie and the person in line before you buys that cookie and that cookie is sold out, that can be upsetting. You know, when you're like kind of more relaxed and um, easy going and less attached to acquiring this and that, then like less things can upset you. So that is basically saying what, um, has been reiterated in probably every religion, um, you know, in Buddhism and um, sort of every religion is basically saying um, when you really, really want stuff, then you are setting yourself up for disappointment because um, having stuff is almost like having kind of octopus arms where your mind is like wanting this, wanting this, wanting this, and you're not really focused on being your own pillar of strength. So when you um, you truly want to feel anchored, then you can focus on your health, your family, sort of core values, and not about feeling good in the moment because all feelings, good and bad, pass. So if you're obsessed with having uh, pleasure all the time that's not really going to feel pleasurable and uh, and the other thing about um, being attached to pleasure is that even the most amazing things get old so you sort of need that balance of like roughing it a little bit and indulging it a little bit like if all you eat were chocolates all day it would kind of make you sick and it wouldn't be exciting to have a box of chocolates so um, even pleasure isn't pleasurable when it's all the time so this scripture is inviting people to think about a higher goal drawing inward and not being so attached to pleasure and power and not having a mind full of desire not because wrong or bad but just because if your ultimate goal is to feel great ironically stopping focusing on pleasure ironically may make you feel better in the end don't take my word for it feel free to try it on this day